Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Now today's video, doing something a little bit different, what I haven't done it on the channel before. Um, I think some of you are going to like. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about it, not going to lie. But right here, we have a mystery box. Now, this is a mystery box from the spider shop. Um, if you're from the UK, you, most of you will know what the spider shop is. Um, they're well known and absolutely renowned for the fantastic service, communication and live well-being of their invertebrates. But anyways, let's jump straight into the video and get on with the unboxing. So guys, just gonna get the package open. It's very well packaged, the tape's nice and secure. Quite difficult to get it open though. Not too difficult. Just want to be careful with this razor. Just bear with me guys. Cool. Yep, like I say, well packaged. I'll just show you guys. Like I said, just from how the box was taped and opening this, it's well packaged. Obviously, got the almighty packing peanuts. Just put them somewhere. Just put them up there for now. And as you can tell, it's exquisite packaging. Just need to move a few more of these. Right. There we go. Nothing else in that. Push them aside for now. So, small box here. Heat pack's definitely warm. I can still feel how warm the box is. Gently open this one. And more packing peanuts. Yeah, I'll go through exactly what I've got in this box uh, with you once I've got everything out. I'm 
So he has the first one. Oh, nice. Yeah, like I say, I'll show you what I've got in there. Once I've got everything out. Nice. And how's the heat pack? Still nice and warm. It's always a good sign. Always check to see if your heat packs are still warm, guys. Especially when it's more winter, spring months. Heat packs are 100% advised. Just make sure there's nothing else in here. That doesn't look like there's anything else in. what we've got. I'm going to start off with the slings first. Um, we've got a... What's that? I was just about to say Brachypelma, but it's now Tritocalto. It's a Tritocalto Cambridge Eye. There, little one centimetre sling. Then... The... Cambridgei, I believe, is known as the New Mexican Tarantula. Then we've got a Brachypelma Amelia. Nice. So that is a Mexican red leg. I think it's a red leg. Yeah, it's a Mexican red leg. Uh, that's it there. One to two centimeters. We've got a P. Gigas. Um, Pretty sure the Pegigas, yeah, the orange tree spider or the orange chevron tarantula. That one's a little one centimeter. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got two terrestrial and one arboreal species. And then in here, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce the name for this. There, I'll just show you. There. So, I'm, if I might be correct, um, I know it's a scorpion. And I might be correct in thinking that it is some kind of Asian forest scorpion. Not 100% sure. I'll have to do my research after this video. But, yeah. What I'll do, I'll go get the enclosures ready and put them in. What I'm going to do is do a different video on rehousing these little guys. But, yeah, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to dislike it. Comment down below what you think I should improve on. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified for future uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next one.